What's up guys, it's me, Wasty Random here. What's up guys, it's me, Wasty Random here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing if colognes were celebrities or if fragrances were celebrities, whichever one you wanna call it. Um, basically, I've picked, you know, a few normal fragrances. Um, some are popular, some are just unique. Um, but I picked them for the reason that I'm gonna be explaining. And I'm gonna, I picked one fragrance for each celebrity. And I'm gonna explain why. Let's get into it. So for let's start off for the first one. These are not in order. These are just you know listing out. I have five for, uh, celebrities, and by celebrity celebrities, I'm meaning uh, singers, actors, athletes, um, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are the guys I'm I'm incorporating. Um, and pretty much yeah, this is gonna be a five people list. Um, I wanted to go more, but I felt like it would become too much. But if you guys want to see a part two of this, let me know in the comments below. But basically, let's start off with an easy one. A very well-known, very well-known fragrance and a very well-known player. But the fragrance is well, well-known. Dior Sauvage, okay? This is, I know it's mentioned a bunch of times. If you search on YouTube, Dior Sauvage, you probably get a million results, but... Dior Sauvage, let me get you guys who I think goes the best for this fragrance. Um, and not, these fragrances aren't relating to how I think the the person uses them. I'm saying these are relating to whatever, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you guys. But basically this relates to, I think, the most is Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I think, I remember last season, I haven't really been watching the uh, Warriors play this this year but last year I remember St Steph Curry used to make three pointers like they were nothing he used to make them like if you take a shot before a three pointer you know it'd be going in you, you wouldn't like have to think twice when you see uh, Curry take a shot from the th three point line but um, basically why did I pick Dior Sauvage is because when you wear this fragrance you're not gonna miss your shot, okay? You're not gonna miss your chance to get that number. You're not gonna miss your chance to get that girl to say, oh, I love your fragrance. You know, it's always gonna happen or it's guaranteed to happen, if you guys know what I mean. And obviously I'm not, I'm, I'm saying that the fragrance will do that, but if your actions are something else, then you guys have to fix your actions. But the fragrance, if you rely on the fragrance, and your your personality is good. It's like a guaranteed. At least it's a guaranteed. Oh, I like your I like your cologne. Yeah, Th that's guaranteed. I, I think. And what I mean, how does that relate to Steph Curry? Is as I said, he makes his threes like there are nothing, and this can get you a girl's number like nothing. I think. Don't judge me though, because there is a lot of girls that have different opinions. So might find one or two i mean steph curry also misses like one or two shots at, like a game so you might miss a few opportunities but for the most part you're gonna get whatever you want with this fragrance like if you want to get a girl's attention somehow using this then you probably would by the end of that day so that's dior sauvage next up i have and this person is a very well known player, very well known soccer player or football player, um, depends what part of the world you're from, but this is a very well known player, here he is, I think Creed Aventus goes well with Cristiano Ronaldo, Creed Aventus, um, you guys know what I, you guys are probably going to know what I'm about to say, since Creed Aventus is one of the most popular fragrances in the world. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most popular players in the world. It kind of it kind of goes hand in hand, right? Like I mean, Ronaldo, he is kind of like Steph Curry but for, you know, soccer or football, and if he shoots it somewhere in the 18-yard box, you know it's going in. And I'm I'm not biased to any of these teams. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys who I support because, you know, it's going to start controversy in the comments. But, you know, Ronaldo, I've seen him play. I've seen him ball out. Basically, um, Ronaldo, if he, if he shoots it in, uh, in the 18-yard box or even sometimes outside the 18-yard box, he's going to make it 95% of the time, uh, I think. Like, I'm just guessing. 
So for this one, this one is the most popular or one of the most popular fragrances out there. Um, it's very expensive and it's also unique too. It's expensive and the, re the way I related that to Ronaldo is that he's kind of like a, he's kind of like a legend honestly. Like he, Ronaldo's been around for a while, Creed has been around for a while, um, at least that's what they say. Um, and also he's just, he's been consistent with what he does, you know. And Creed Aventus has been consistent with what they do. Um, or not Creed, but Creed Aventus. No, I mean Creed as a company has been consistent with what they do. But Creed Aventus itself, I explained it. It's just, it relates to Ronaldo, I think, the most out of the fragrances I have. So now moving on to the third person. I'll just show you guys this fragrance. And it can relate to somebody. I, I mean, I think I, I know who you guys, you guys are going to say when I show you this, but this fragrance, La Nuit de Lom by Yves Saint Laurent. I'm sorry, Jeremy fragrance, but I know I know Jeremy's fragrance is, is a celebrity, but this one I think relates to more of Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, what I say Leonardo DiCaprio? Basically, you guys know, if you have a sister, a girlfriend, or a friend that, that knows this guy, that's seen this guy, in movies, you know how much they fangirl him, right? Just people talk about him, and especially girls. I have two sisters, and you know, they both like him a lot. And the reason why I picked this one is because this one is one of the best dating fragrances out there. It's one of the best um, female attraction fragrances out there. So, if you want to feel like Ronaldo, uh, if you want to feel like Leonardo DiCaprio, swear this one. You know. It would be good, it would um, get a girl's attention, it would make you more attractive, and that's Lan Me Long, and that's how it relates to DiCaprio. Now moving on to my fourth one, this one is a singer, and the reason why I picked this fragrance right here, Amwaj Reflection Man, to this singer, is because Based on what I've seen, and I don't know, you know how the this, this singer is, but based on what I've seen, you know, in his interviews, in his, you know, when he sits and talks and stuff, uh, based on what I've seen, I feel like he's a pretty kind and decent man, you know. This is a pretty kind of, I don't know, kind, I would say. I don't know if I would say kind, but it's very flowery. It's very, very jasmine-y. Basically, this one, I feel like, if somebody would wear this, he would be a person that's very kind, very outgoing, very um, sweet. And I think this guy right here, Charlie Puth, I mean, I haven't met him, but uh, just based on his interview interviews and that all that jazz, I feel like he's a pretty kind person. And um, I think this fragrance relates to him the most because, you know, he is, I feel like, kind of that person that's like sweet and generous and polite um, but I don't know I haven't met him I don't know how he is but I'm one reflection man I think relates to him the most the most and moving on to my last one my last one is a girl singer um, this this girl has been around for quite a bit but this fragrance is marketed for men but I feel like it can be a woman's fragrance so it's unisex I feel and this singer is Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, I think, fits for Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct because, let me explain why. Because Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct is one of those fragrances that you're like, you'd have it kind of in the back, you know. I personally don't use Abercrombie and, Fit, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct for some reason, I forgot the name, but I basically don't use this as much. But I for sure have it in my mind in case you know one day I'm like running out of um, spring or summer fragrances to use, or if it's a really hot day in, in the fall, then if I'm running out of options, I would just pick this one up. And Selena Gomez, I feel like is like is kind of that person, you know. She's if she releases a song, bang, views right there. If she does something with like some other singer, you know breaks up, does uh, love again, I don't know, but um, basically if she does anything, bang, drama like uh, pops up. With this one, you forget what fragrance to wear, 
bang, you pick this one up. You you don't know how to like which fragrance smells in the most unique. Bang, pick this one up because this one has the top note of melon, and melon. Based on what I've know, I it's very rare to have melon as a top note on your in a fragrance, but this one does and it, it makes it feel very nice and very nice and kind of sweet and i feel like based on what i've seen about selena gomez um in her you know interviews and sit, sitting at uh sitting and talking basically i feel like she's a kind of an outgoing person seems pretty cool and i feel like this this is definitely an outgoing and very uh selena gomez likes to laugh a lot based on what i've seen i'm not i'm not trying to sound weird but you know if you go on like jimmy fallon or um, late night shows if you go on those shows and you see her she's really like funny she likes to laugh she likes to have fun and i feel like this one is a very relating fragrance to that and it can also work for females i think that's pretty much it guys i kind of sounded weird at the end right there but i apologize if i did i i'm just trying to explain how these fragrances relate based on what i think but um anyways if you guys did enjoy this video click the like button below Subscribe for more videos and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a video so you can be the first people to watch it, you know, the first person to watch it. And yeah, comment down if you want to see another part because I could add, I could have added more celebrities to this one, but I felt like I didn't want to make it too excessive, so I added five. Um, but if you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comments below and have a nice day. Peace.